A stroke is a brain attack and it happens when a blood vessel that brings oxygen and nutrients to the brain is clogged by a blood clot and that's called an ischemic stroke. When the blood vessel bursts open, that's called a hemorrhagic stroke. Stroke care has advanced so that primary and comprehensive stroke centers can both administer a clot-busting medication called TPA within four and a half hours from the onset of stroke. If the TPA doesn't work, or if it's outside the time window, a comprehensive stroke center like Queen's can also perform a mechanical clot retrieval procedure called mechanical thrombectomy. This is a minimally invasive procedure done by a neurointerventional surgeon where he would insert a wire and catheter from the groin and thread it all the way up to the brain and, and mechanically pull the clot out of the brain to restore blood flow. And this procedure can be done within six hours from the onset of stroke and can be done in conjunction with a clot busting medication. So being the first comprehensive stroke center in Hawaii means being able to perform both treatments 24-7 and having the state's only neuroscience intensive care unit means that Hawaii's stroke patients have a greater chance of survival. But having a six hour window for treatment doesn't mean you want to wait that long to get help if you're having a stroke. The brain loses 1.9 million brain cells every minute that it's not receiving blood supply and blood flow, so it's important to act fast and immediately at the very first sign of stroke. Look at their face for an uneven smile. Check if one arm is weak. Listen for slurred speech. If it looks like a stroke, time is short. Call 911 immediately.